crazy bastards, welcome back to the Kimball Compound for the Andre Corbiel Show WWE Battleground Predictions video. Dropping it now, we are going to kick into the kickoff show, and it's Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10 versus Aiden English, the man that can sing his ass off, but he ain't gonna wrestle his ass off after he gets beat by the perfect 10 Ty Dillinger, and that is for real. Hell yeah, both guys, I like, I like both of them, but Ty Dillinger, he's over as hell. He's gonna take this one, and hopefully Aiden English gets in some good offense, and then, yeah, we'll see where it goes, but hopefully he's not whining like a little bitch, and uh, Ty Dillinger takes this one for sure. Then moving on to the Tag Team Championship, I have been very impressed with the Usos so much. I like them as champions, and I enjoy their wrestling and their whole style that they got going on. I really do, but I think it's time for a little bit of a change in the new day. Takes the Tag Team Championship, and I think they won't hold them very long, but hey, we have to have a title change somewhere, somehow, on this show. And I think this is where it's going to happen. Then moving on to Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. And I believe <laughs> this is where we get an upset. Baron Corbin defeats Shinsuke Nakamura with his dirty ass tricks and ways. And eventually building into maybe another match with the briefcase on the line. Now that's a possible, possibility down the road. I would like to see that and see Shinsuke Nakamura take that from Barry Corbin, pissing him off beyond making him an evil person more than he is now. We need to build Barry Corbin as that monster heel. He's a big dude. Awesome. It would it would be really cool. So we'll see what happens, but I believe Barry Corbin takes this match. And then we move on to the Fatal Five Way Elimination match for the number one contendership for the women's championship. We have Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Tamina, and Lana. Tamina and Lana got this little bond going on. Tamina is looking out for Lana. Um, Lana has a lot to learn, but she's doing it, so that's really cool. But I think it's time for a new match, and that's going to be Charlotte taking victory over here. Becky Lynch just got her on uh, SmackDown. I think this here, we get Charlotte victorious. Moving on to the number one contendership, she can always hang with anybody, and it would be a great match. Hell yeah, with Naomi, Charlotte, can't go wrong. Then we have the U.S. title match. AJ Styles took that belt from Kevin Owens at Madison Square Garden at a house show, which was really cool. You only see that not very often. I think the last time was about six years ago, 2011, 2012, when... Primo and Epico won the Tag Team Championships at a house show. So that's it's been a long-ass time. And uh, so anyway, here, AJ Styles gets to defend the U United States Championship against Kevin Owens. This is going to be a great match. These two are great performers, but I believe AJ Styles retains. Kevin Owens will have a great match, and then he'll have reason to bitch afterward, which will be fun. So you can't go wrong. AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, no matter who wins, I believe AJ does, no matter who, it, it's great. These guys are just awesome. Then we are going to move on to the flag match. John Cena, everybody's favorite, right? <laughs> and then Rusev. Rusev has been killing it on social media. He's got a new look going on, shaved the hair down, grew a big ass beard, and uh, he's a brute. And he kicked John Cena's ass pretty good on SmackDown, but I believe John Cena will shine through and move on to bigger and greener pastures and maybe down the road, well, yeah. I can see where it's going. And that's why we're gonna move into the WWE Championship match, the Punjabi Prison match, again. <laughs> Never thought you'd see this structure again, but it is massive, it's colossal, it's, you know what, screw it. Let's have fun with it. A bunch of bamboo everywhere. Anyway, Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship. And I think Randy Orton's going to have a great match here. But I believe Jinder Mahal, in the end, will be victorious somehow. 
with the Singh brothers' help. There's no DQ. There's, you know, there's, there's no rules here. So, I believe the Singh brothers will be involved. Randy Orton made it very clear they won't be in there. They're outside, so it's just him against Jinder. But I believe we're going to have two Singh brothers crawling into that Punjabi prison. And uh, Jinder Mahal retains his championship, moving on to probably, eventually down the road, the All-American John Cena. And, hey, Jinder Mahal's champion has been fun. It's been totally different. It's been great, I think. And the ratings have been soaring for SmackDown. They're doing something right over there. SmackDown's always been, like, since, yeah, last year, I just read an article. It's been the one-year anniversary for the draft and when SmackDown went live. SmackDown has been a lot of fun for the last year. Really, it has. I, I enjoy it more than Raw. So, <laughs> just saying. What do you guys think? Drop your comments and your predictions down below. We want to hear each and every one of your opinions. And uh, we want to see your predictions down there, please. And, uh... Who do you want to see the next WWE Champion? Jinder Mahal, Randy Orton. What happens with AJ Styles down the road? What if he was to challenge Jinder Mahal after becoming a uh, United States Champion and a WWE Champion at the same time? Could that happen? There's a lot of possibilities. And will Naomi drop that title to the number one contender after Battleground? And uh, hey, let's look forward to the show and leave your comments down below.